Nothing in this video is paid for. We were not paid to make this review. And everything that we said in this review is completely our opinion and not paid for. Let's jump into the video. Welcome back to the channel. So today, we're gonna to talk about something that's near and dear to every mountain biker, and then probably found on most mountain bikers when they're out mountain biking. Gloves. Let's get straight to it. Woo! So, for the last week, I've been doing a lot of riding, and for a few reasons. But one of those reasons has been testing out a new glove. A glove that we found from a company called Nicewind. See, Nicewin is an activewear company that can be found on Amazon. And with over 40,000 mostly five-star reviews, this company is doing things that we don't see too often in the mountain biking space. Listening. See, when Nicewin reached out, they asked us to test their product. They wanted input. They wanted to know which features mountain bikers care about the most, and that way they could introduce those features into their already great lineup. They were very explicit with their instructions. They only wanted honest reviews. They didn't want us to say just what they wanted to hear, which was good, because as a veteran of the US Army, my integrity isn't for sale at any amount of money or product. See, Nicewind's been putting out new products continually and is trying to branch out in the mountain biking market. So. Coming very soon, they will be offering mountain biking shorts and jerseys as well. As far as the products that Nicewind already has available on Amazon, I have to tell you, they cover a lot of bases, literally. They've got football, baseball, and softball gloves for both adult and children. They have running shorts, they have cycling chamois, fingerless and full finger gloves for both cycling and motorcycling wet weather gear for cycling, as well as yoga pants and a whole host of other products. We'll be testing out their new jerseys and mountain biking shorts very soon. So if you're interested, I've left some links down in the description below to their Amazon store. You definitely gotta check these guys out. Uh, as you can tell, they're selling for $19.99. You have fantastic sizing chart. They come in different colors, red, white, black, you know, blue, so on and so forth. Very, very smart product. Like They've got protection down the knuckles and so on. And you've got protection down the side of your palm, as well as on the, on the bottom of your palm, as well as here across uh, the underside of your knuckles. It's got a, uh, a touch screen uh, pad and the finger here. Obviously, it's breathable. Dorsal protection there. Three layers of uh, spandex. Inside here, it's got the gel material that they layer across the hand and the palm to keep the grip really tight then there's padding inside of each of those areas also the fingertips right here are they're designed with a sticky thing in there to kind of help it be able to hold your brake lever a little better the polar fleece on the thumb to wipe away your sweat i know a lot of companies uh, offer one or two of those at one time but you see them all kind of go into one uh, on a product for this kind of money for 19.98 uh, ps uh, with Prime, I was able to get this uh, next day delivery. Yeah. The only thing I didn't like about the gloves, I loved how they did have the grippers for the brakes. Okay. They feel good and they breathe good. Don't like how they fold in the middle. Okay, so a pair of gloves without that would probably be fantastic. Yeah. Okay. okay, now tell me what happened when you bought the Fox that had the same set and what did it do to your hands and why didn't you like that? Just rubs constantly rubs because it's creased. Yep. So right here on the top of the rubs, and so if I ride for four hours straight, I'll have blisters here and there. <laughs> so um, guys, the good thing about the company that I'm working with, um, Penn is an amazing uh, designer. Actually, she's looking for honest reviews. Um, so stuff like that, where if you don't like something, she'll actually go in and fix the design for specific riders and stuff. So that's amazing. Um, when we talked about uh, having a spot the other day, like a microfiber for the GoPro so that I can do like that. So Jason, I just let you uh, take the first ride on the nice wing gloves. So give me your input, what's your feedback on these guys? I'll tell you what, I had to stop on the way up. Actually, they're really, really comfortable. They, 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 they flex real good. Where it's got that where you can slide your finger across the phone, it works. He's gone, ladies and gentlemen. I actually took a dive on the bike, crashed it a little bit on the way up. 
what you guys happened? can tell from the uh, dirt. Ain't no punishment at all. I, I got banged up, you know. I got banged up pretty decent. And uh, the bugs, they did survive. That pad right there is awesome. Excellent. Well, guys, that's uh, so that's it. I'm gonna see if we can get Steven talked into riding with him for a second, maybe get his input as well. Next day delivery. So <clears throat> I ordered this in the middle of the night. This guy will be here tomorrow. Now, I just bought a set of hand-up gloves uh, from my local bike shop the other day. I want to think they were closer to $30. Uh, there's a couple other nice features to them. They don't have anywhere near this. They're basic fabric gloves. Cool little message on the inside, but that's about all you're getting. You're not getting any imp impact protection. You're not getting any, um, you know, gel type layer to keep your hands gripped out of the, you know, you're not getting anything on the finger to keep, you know. Um, I say that these gloves are right along uh, the value of what I paid for my Trailer Design gloves, which again, I think I give $35 or $40 for a set of those. So maybe worth taking a look at. We're going to tell you very soon. I'm going to be doing a review on this, maybe even the day after tomorrow. Well, it's now tomorrow, so tomorrow. So thanks again for joining us on another episode of MTB Freaks. There has been so much love shown to us recently that we just wanted to say thank you sincerely. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified when we drop a new video. And as always, remember to stay on your bike. Uh, okay, guys, check this out. So, first of all, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Nice Wind. Again, this video is not paid for promotion. Uh, the nice folks at Nice Wind did send over these gloves for free, along with another pair of them. Um, I wanted to talk about them for a minute. These gloves come in under $20, guys. Now, I'm riding an e-bike, so I've got kind of the more motorcycle, e-bike specific kind of heavy impact style of gloves that have the big rubber pocket with the nice big thick padding. Padding in here, gription for every one of these. I can still actually use my finger and my thumb to control my phone to set up Strava. They breathe pretty darn well. Um, and in between each one of these fingers also has that mesh. Um, they fit fantastic. These are a size large. Um, I typically wear a size medium. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, first ride on these, first impressions so far, absolutely bananas. For the money, I think there's nothing really in this price range. And these things so far have been absolutely flawless. So, the ladies have caught back up to us. It's about time for us to get back on the trail, so you know what to do. Better stay on your bike. Woo!